Hey you guys, I am going to show you how quick and easy it is to upload your SVGs into Design Space. Now, if you already pay for the monthly subscription for Design Space, then you already have a bunch of free um, SVGs and projects at your fingertips that you could use within Design Space. If you want to purchase SVGs from, say, Etsy or download some from um, websites online, then I am going to show you how to get them into Design Space. So, first of all, we're going to go to the Craftables website. They have this section right here for free cut files that you can download for personal use. So, I'm going to show you how easy it is to upload them into your design space. So we will use this Apple. You're gonna hit download, go back over to your design space, hit your upload, upload image, browse, I'm gonna go to downloads, our Apple file, and we are going to click on the one that says SVG. Now we're just gonna hit save and it is now part of Design Space. So you select it, insert image, it takes you to your canvas. You would scale it to the size that you need um, based on the project you will be making. And it comes as one piece, but as you can see over here in the Layers tab, it's three different cuts. So if we wanted to make this in color, then we would change the stem to brown the leaf to green and the apple itself to red and now when we go to cut it um, you would just load the different color vinyls onto your mat for each cut and then um, place it together on your project so that is one way um, to get svg files into your design space it would be the same way if you purchased it through etsy you do your download and you do the same exact thing that i just did now i'm also going to show you how to create your own SVG and design space. I'm gonna show you um, a real simple example. So I Googled Betty Boop silhouette images because I wanted it just to be a black and white image. Um, this one looks like a good, a good one to try. We're going to save it. I'm just gonna save it to my downloads. I'm gonna go back to Cricut Design Space, hit upload, upload image, browse, downloads and it is right here select choose and because the image is black and white we don't need it to be a complex um, image so we're just going to use the option for simple and what it does is it grays out the background and makes it much easier to clean up you're going to select this little I believe it's a magic wand and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click um, on all of the gray areas if you need to you can zoom in as well by hitting this button. We're just gonna take off all of the excess and only leave the areas that are um, the outline in black. Hit continue. Select save as cut image. And, okay, that was weird. Um, now here it is as well in our design space. We're gonna select it, insert image, and there you go. It's as simple and easy as that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I hope this helps anyone who is um, new to Cricut, possibly just purchased a Cricut for Christmas or was gifted one. Um, if you guys want to see how to upload an image from Google with multiple colors, just let me know and I can make another quick tutorial on that as well. Thanks so much for watching.